Hi, let's imagine that you start doing sport or you start jogging. So let's see that this is you and you start jogging. So you start running. So what's gonna happen when you start jogging or you start doing an exercise? Okay, eventually you're going to start sweating. So like water around. Okay, so this is an example of a thermal machine. A thermal machine is this example. But why this is an example of a thermal machine? Because we're applying work, motion, okay, so you start moving your muscles, and by using this motion, uh, your system, your body, is going to increase the temperature. So what we're doing is passing from some type of energy or work into thermal energy, okay, by using heat. This is the goal of a thermal machine. So any thermal machine, what it's going to do is to change energy to heat, uh, to thermal energy by using heat or vice versa we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have um, thermal energy and we're going to convert it into uh, another type of energy by using heat this is the main goal of a thermal machine so let, let's see one example of thermal machine there's a thermal machine calling the steam engine and the steam engine let's say that use any liquid or gas let's say water okay let's say we have water here and by using some device we have here a wheel so what we're going to do is to heat the water heat the water and what's going to happen if I heat the water this water is going to increase the temperature try to uh, expand and when it's trying to expand it's going to move the wheel okay this is kind of the idea of the steam engine so we have thermal energy and we convert this thermal energy into motion kinetic energy another example the fridge or the refrigerator so the refrigerator essentially so you have here your your fridge so what's gonna do the fridge is going to take energy electrical energy let's, let's put energy here and is going to provide heat to this chamber so what's going to happen here? So what it's going to happen is that the heat is going to move outside the chamber and by using this effect this is going to be cold. Okay? This is the idea of the refrigerator. And this is how a thermal machine works. Okay? So you can study um, like the process of thermal machines uh, in fact, all machines are thermal machines because it's practically impossible to take off heat from any situation, okay? If you do a cycle, it's impossible to have no heat. But sometimes this heat is going to decrease the efficiency of the machine. So let's say, for example, an electric engine. So let's say that we have an electric engine. So the electric engine, uh, let's say that we have electricity, 
electrical energy and by some device here we convert it into motion okay we're going to move a car wheel but during this process there's going to be yeah. heat and the heat in this case is going to decrease the efficiency of the motor of the engine okay and this is what a thermal machine works remember you're using thermal energy you create heat to provide another type of energy or you use another type of energy to provide heat so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that it was clear what is a thermal machine obviously obviously to understand pretty well this topic you need to learn the laws of thermodynamics but this was just an introduction of what is a thermal machine remember that I'm in all my social network as Hugo Fim um, as it was a, a live video excuse any sound outside this video see you next class goodbye